Hello children how are you all hope everyone is safe and secure at home let us see properties of integers we have five main properties closure property commutative property associative property distributive property and identity property let us see all the properties one by one first coming to closure property closure property the definition is if a and b are integers then a plus b is also an integer closure property we are seeing whether it will apply for addition so if a and b are two integers and when we add them that is a plus b will be also an integer example negative 5 and positive 3 when you adding them okay here the sign is different so we have to subtract so negative 5 and positive 3 your answer is negative 2 negative 2 is also an integer so we can say integers are closed under addition subtraction for any two integers a and b a minus b is also an integer for example consider 5 and 3 here 5 and 3 are integers so when you are subtracting them 5 minus 3 will be equal to 2 which is also an integer so we can say integers are closed under subtraction now let us see for multiplication for any two integers a and b a into b is also an integer example 5 is a integer and 3 is a integer when you are multiplying them you get 15 which is also an integer so we can say integers are closed under multiplication okay next property is commutative property changing the order of addends does not change the sum okay so here when we change the order for example a and b are two integers so the property is a plus b is equal to b plus a that is when you change the order of addends also you get the same answer for example 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 same way if you are changing the order 3 plus 5 it is also equal to 8 so we can say commutative property holds for addition next coming to multiplication okay so here also a into b is equal to b into a same way as we said for addition there positive sign here multiplication sign so a into b is equal to b into a for example 3 into 4 is nothing but 12 same way 3 into 4 is the same as 4 into 3 so when you are changing the factors also the product remains the same okay so changing the order of factors does not change the product so we can say commutative property holds good for multiplication next property associative property so changing the grouping of addends does not change the sum when i say grouping okay the general form is a plus b plus c okay so a plus b plus c is there in bracket so that will be equal to a plus b plus c okay so for example 1 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 1 plus 3 plus 4 okay so when you check your left hand side and right hand side you will get the same answer the only thing is you are changing the grouping so we can say associative property holds good for addition next coming to multiplication 
So A into B into C is equal to A into B into C. That is changing the grouping of the factors. The product remains the same. It does not change the product. So that is associative property for multiplication. So example 2 into 3 into 5. Okay, so here 3 and 5 is in brackets is equal to 2 into 3 in brackets into 5. So here you are changing the grouping. So when you change the grouping also the answer or the product remains the same. So we can say associative property holds good for multiplication. Distributive property. Multiplying a sum by a number is the same as multiplying each addend by that number and then adding their products. Okay, this is the distributive property. So, for addition it is A into B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C. Okay, so consider one example. A is 3 and B is 4 and C is 5. So, 3 into 4 plus 5 will be equal to 3 into 4 plus 3 into 5. Okay, so here left hand side and right hand side if you do you will get the same answer. So, we can say distributive property holds good for addition. Same way for subtraction. A into B minus C is equal to A into B minus A into C. This is the distributive property over subtraction. Now, coming to identity property. So, identity property for addition. So, adding 0 and any number gives the same number. Okay, when you add 0 to any number, you get the same number. Example, 3 plus 0 will be equal to 3. So, adding 0 to any number does not change the value of the number. The general form is a plus 0 is equal to a that is equal to 0 plus a. Example, 3 plus 0 will be equal to 3. Okay, so 3 plus 0 we can write it as 0 plus 3 also. So this is the identity property for addition. Now identity property for multiplication. Multiplying 1 with any number okay, gives the number itself. For example, 4 into 1 is equal to 4. Okay. Same way 1 into 4 is also equal to 4. So this is identity property for multiplication. Zero property of multiplication. The product of 0 and any number is 0. Okay. So the general form is a into 0 will be equal to 0. That is equal to 0 into a a into 0 and 0 into a both are same okay so that is nothing but the answer is 0 example 2 into 0 is equal to 0 2 into 0 can also be written as 0 into 2 so this is 0 property for multiplication let us see the summary of the lesson okay so here we saw what is natural numbers whole numbers, integers, how to compare integers, okay, some of the real life examples we saw, adding and subtracting integers, okay, and properties of integers. With this concept, the lesson comes to an end. Thank you all.